Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm showing you how you can turn your coloring pages into boxes and bags. Leisha Crafts has put out a bunch of coloring books and I have the Art of Coloring Animal book here. And I just wanted to show you um, a couple of things I like about the book is that all the sheets are perforated so you can pull them out easily and they are one-sided so you don't have to worry about another item being on the back to color and it's a nice weight of a paper it's not too thin so there's a few different um, images here I'll just put it through a few we've already done some of the pages so they're not all in here but just to give you a general idea there's some that have a big image on them and then some that have patterns on them it's pretty so I just wanted to show you a couple um, mediums on the page this is a butterfly page that I've used already so the first one I think a popular one is using pencil crayons or colored pencils and I have the Derwent ink tense pencils here so these pencils um, are water soluble so you can use regular pencil crayons probably the Prisma color ones are really good as well so I just wanted to show you um, how they work with the water on the paper so if you colored in a section like I did here, this large section, and then I have a water brush here. Just going to make sure there's water there. And you can see that once you add water, the color changes. And the trick though is you don't want to add too much water because it's not a watercolor paper um, per se. However, it is, you can put water on it and it will hold up. Now another popular one would be to color with markers. So I want to show you two things with the markers. So say if you were to put some color down but then you'd want to pull it in with the marker and get a gradation, it doesn't work. Because the paper is not a watercolor paper, you're not going to be able to pull that color like you can on a watercolor paper to get a nice gradation. However, with that being said, you can just color in the whole image with markers and it looks quite nice. But you can't do the watercolor effect with the markers. So now you have all these coloring books and coloring pages, and what do you do with them? Well, what I decided to do was make little boxes. So this was one of the designs with fish on it, and I did the pencil crayons with the watercolor, or the water brush, and the paper holds up great. And then I used my Lifestyle Crafts um, matchbook die set and cut out this little matchbox or it's match box, not book, but it holds up great. And I have this cute little box made with my coloring pages. Then here is a little takeout container again from Lifestyle Crafts. And this time I colored it with markers. And this was this butterfly paper here, but because it has all these designs to it, it just makes a really colorful, fun box. Even though you don't fully see the butterfly, it's just a really fun design colored box. And then on this one, I used watercolor paints. And I wouldn't recommend um, doing that really wet. This was a sheet from it. It did hold up, but the paints don't blend as well as you would want because it's not watercolor paper. So I would do it more of the marker or the pencil crayons. But still, here was another sheet from the book. It was a cute little repeat design with butterflies. And I just put the colors all over it. And then I cut a bow from the bow die set from Lifestyle Crafts as well out of the um, Thermoweb foil paper or toner paper. And I foiled it with their new navy foil and added a cute little bow to my bag. And so this shows you just the way you can use all these coloring sheets you might be coloring, um, get them out of the book and make something with them. 
And this was all with the Leisure Arts um, Animals Coloring Book. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the Scrap Time Videos YouTube channel. See you next time.